the MVP race. Our own reporter, Jordan DeJaney, gave us a little MVP insight. Here's Jordan. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Derrick Rose, all have won the NBA MVP award before. But this year has progressed so far that we may see a new player holding that trophy at year's end. Today I'm going to give you my NBA MVP power rankings. In first place, I have Stephon Curry. Now he's been the controlling force behind the Golden State Warriors' success, and even though they've played around 50 games, they still have only single-digit losses. He's averaging 23 points a game, 8.1 assists per game, and 4.7 rebounds a game. It looks like Golden State could finally make that jump to winning the title this year, and Curry may pick up the MVP award along the way. James Harden is in second place in my power rankings, and he's been an offensive juggernaut so far this year. He's averaging 27 points a game, 6.8 assists per game, and grabbing 5.6 rebounds a game. He's caught a lot of flack in the past for being a passive defender, but this year he's noticeably stepped up his defense and is even averaging two steals a game. My dark horse for the NBA MVP award this year is Anthony Davis of the New Orleans Pelicans. Now he's going to be the best player in the NBA in a year or two and has been amazing for the Pelicans so far this year. He's averaging 24.6 points a game, 10.5 rebounds a game, and 2.8 blocks per game. He's my dark horse because usually your team has to make the playoffs in order for you to win the NBA MVP award, but his Pelicans are currently one spot outside of the West. Speaking of MVPs, former NBA MVP Kobe Bryant has been sidelined for nine months with a torn rotator cuff. Is it time for Kobe Bryant to retire? The Lakers GM already has said that he's excited for training camp next year. When we look more into his situation, we see that he does have one year left on his contract. Is he staying for the money? Is he waiting for Charles Barkley's contract with Turner Sports to expire so he can stay in the public eye with telecasting? We don't know. But what we do know is that he suffered a few severe injuries over the past few years, including a torn Achilles, a fractured knee, and he's played limited minutes this year, but still tore his rotator cuff. He's definitely not the same player. Kobe, you can take all the shots you'd like, but it looks like Father Time has finally won. Back to you guys in the studio.